Understanding the phrase, puck drop, in hockey. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss, especially for those of you who are sports enthusiasts or are curious about phrases used in specific contexts. We're going to delve into the meaning and usage of the phrase, puck drop, in hockey. Whether you're a fan of the sport, planning to watch a game, or just eager to expand your English vocabulary, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Puck drop is a term specifically used in the sport of hockey. Hockey is played with a small, hard rubber disc called a puck. The game begins when the referee drops this puck between two players' sticks and they start competing to take control of it. This action, the starting point of the game, is what we refer to as the puck drop. The puck drop holds great significance in a hockey game. It symbolizes the official start of the game or the beginning of a new period within the game. It is a moment filled with anticipation as players and fans alike wait eagerly for the game to begin. The puck drop also sets the tone for the match, as players need to be fully alert and ready to jump into action as soon as the puck hits the ice. Now, let's look at how we can use the term puck drop in a sentence. 1. The players are lining up for the puck drop. The game is about to start. Two. Fans are excitedly waiting for the puck drop to cheer on their favorite team. 3. Can you tell me what time the puck drop is? I don't want to miss the beginning of the match. In these examples, puck drop is used to refer to the beginning of the game or a particular moment in the game. And that brings us to the end of our video on the phrase, puck drop. We hope this has helped clarify its meaning and how it is used in the context of a hockey game. Remember, learning phrases like these can really help enhance your understanding of English, especially when it comes to specific contexts like sports. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave a comment down below. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing.